Neurology quiz number 74. Discuss the etiology, clinical features, and management of hereditary neuropathy with liability to pressure palsies, or HNPP, and hereditary brachial plexus neuropathy, or HBPN. HNPP, or tumaculous neuropathy, is an autosomal dominant inherited neuropathy, leading to increased susceptibility of peripheral nerves to mechanical traction or compression. It results in recurrent compression or entrapment neuropathies with a superimposed length-dependent sensory predominant neuropathy. The genetic cause in the great majority of patients is a 1.5 megabase deletion on the short arm of chromosome 17, which encompasses the PMP22 gene region, which is also known as the peripheral myelin protein 22 gene. This is the inverse of charcot marie tooth 1A, which is associated with a 1.5 megabase duplication on the short arm of chromosome 17 and an extra copy of the PMP22 gene. This figure shows genomic rearrangement on the short arm of chromosome 17 in CMT1A and HNPP. Tandem duplication of the PMP22 gene leads to CMT1A, while deletion of the same region leads to HNPP. Clinical features. The estimated prevalence is 7 to 16 per 100,000 population. The first attack usually occurs in the second or third decade, but onset has been reported from age 2 to 70 years. Patients usually describe painless numbness and weakness in the distribution of a single peripheral nerve. Symptomatic neuropathies are often preceded by trivial compression or trauma of nerves, such as leaning on elbows or crossing the legs or wearing a backpack. Most commonly affected sites are median nerve at the wrist with carpal tunnel syndrome, ulnar nerve at the elbow or cubital tunnel syndrome, radial nerve in the spiral groove, peroneal nerve at the fibula head, and the brachial plexus. This diagram shows the anatomy of the most commonly involved nerves the median nerve at the wrist, the ulnar nerve at the elbow, the common peroneal nerve at the fibula head, the radial nerve in the spiral group, and the brachial plexus. These pressure-related mononeuropathies usually resolve but can take several weeks or months. To do so, incomplete recovery is not invariable. Some studies suggest inverse correlation between age of onset and frequency of relapses with poorer long-term prognosis in those with early onset. Many patients can have a superimposed distal symmetric polyneuropathy. About 15% of carriers with the mut mutation remain asymptomatic but may have abnormal nerve conduction studies. EMG and nerve conduction study. This demonstrates slowing of conduction velocity, conduction block, and temporal dispersion across typical sites of entrapment and compression, such as the carpal and cubital tunnel, Guyon's canal, and across the fibula head. In addition, nerve conduction studies demonstrate a length-dependent sensory predominant neuropathy with reduced conduction velocities, prolonged distal motor latencies, and reduced or absent sensory nerve action potentials. Important differential diagnosis includes CIDP, MADSAM or multifocal acquired demyelinating sensory and motor neuropathy, as well as Charcot-Marie tooth disease, diabetic neuropathy, brachial neuritis and hereditary brachial plexus neuropathy, among others. Pathology, nerve biopsies demonstrate focal globular thickening of the myelin sheath, best demonstrated on teased fiber preparations. The thickened myelin resembles a sausage. Uh, Tomacule is Latin for sausage, hence the name tomaculus neuropathy. Segmental demyelination in decreased in large myelinated fibers is also seen. This figure shows nerve biopsy in HNPP. On the left, there is transverse section of tolidine blue stained sural nerve showing fibers with redundant myelin swellings. And on the right is a teased fiber preparation demonstrating a sausage shaped myelin swelling or tomacula. This is an MRI of the brachial plexus, stir image showing enlargement and hyperintensity of bilateral brachial plexuses, predominantly on the left, in a patient with HNPP and bilateral brachial plexopathy. Treatment, this is mostly supportive. It focuses on avoidance of risk factors and triggers, such as prolonged cross-legged cross sitting, prolonged leaning on elbows, wearing a backpack, or rapid weight loss. Care must be taken in positioning during surgery to avoid nerve compression. 
Other measures include splints or pads on the wrists or arms to avoid pressure on the nerves. Hereditary brachial plexus neuropathy, HBPN, or hereditary neural neuralgic amyotrophy is an autosomal dominant, recurrent, and painful neuropathy involving the brachial plexus or its branches. In rare cases, it can involve the lumbosacral plexus, the lower cranial nerves, or the phrenic nerves. Most patients have mutations or duplications of the septin-9 gene on the long arm of chromosome 17. The septin-9 gene provides instruction for making the protein septin-9, which is a member of the septin family. The septins are, are involved in cytokinesis. Patients usually present before age 30 and have recurrent attacks of severe and debilitating shoulder and arm pain that can require urgent treatment. This is unlike HNPP where involvement of the brachial plexus is usually painless. Weakness typically begins one week after the onset of pain and involves the brachial plexus or its branches. Most patients show gradual recovery from from pain but resolution of weakness is often slow and incomplete and muscle atrophy may be prominent. Individual attacks can be indistinguishable from parsonage turner syndrome and important differentiating fa features are family history, recurrent attacks and younger age of onset like in the first or second decade. Dysmorphic features may be observed in affected individuals. Treatment high-dose IV steroids can help relieve pain but do not prevent neurologic deficits. Patients are predisposed to attacks at times of surgery and delivery, and there are anecdotal reports that prophylactic steroids may prevent such episodes.